How's it going everyone? My name is Alex Schrock and I'm the Vendor Relations Lead for DreamSoar. One of my big missions and one of my big priorities for this aircraft and for this global flight is the decaling of the aircraft. As you can see, the aircraft has this one DreamSoar decal here, but by the end of it, we're gonna have anywhere, anywhere between 30 to 41 different logos on this aircraft for all our partners and all the people that have supported us to get to where we are today. Now when you decal an aircraft, you might think it can't be that hard. There's, there's a lot of space on an aircraft to go and, and put all these decals. Uh, and that's not necessarily the case, especially with this Bonanza. We have a very, very nice paint on it. As you can see, there's three different colors here, and then in the back, there's some silver detailing stripes. Uh, we just add some depth, and it adds some great color to the aircraft and make it, look, make it look very nice while it's flying and while it's sitting on the ground. And my goal is to not cover up those paint, those paint colors. I don't want to put decals over it that would disrupt the flow of the paint and, and make it look all blocked off and choppy. So my priority is to get as many decals on this aircraft in the right size without covering too much of the paint so that the aircraft still maintains its beauty from the colors. Um, now it's been tough because when you come up with a decal, there's a lot of people with different logos and their logos can be a lot longer than others. Some might be 18 inches wide and two and a half inches tall and some might be nine inches in a circle, which makes it very difficult when you're trying to size them up and have them all be roughly the same size so that way all our partners can be recognized equally for their contributions to our program. One of the other hard decisions that I have to make and that we have to make as a team is how do we want our decals to look? There's two types of decals that we can put on this aircraft. There's countercut decals and there's square cut decals. And these have their pros and they have their cons. If you look at our DreamStore logo right here, this is called a countercut logo. As you can see, there isn't a, bulk, uh, a white bulky background around it like you see on a lot of bumper stickers taking up a lot of space. It's very clean, all the, all the vinyl decal and all the color has been cut so that way it's easy to apply and it doesn't look, look um, as blocky. Now if you look down here at our other air, uh, decal that we have, this is called square cut. As you can see, there is a white border around it. Now one of the pros to having a square cut decal is they're easier to produce, they're easier to install, and they're easier to remove at the end of the flight or, or if we need to change it and put another logo on there. Now, me personally, I enjoy countercut decals. They're very clean, they're very crisp, and they look very nice on a white background or even on a different colored background when you get different colors of the logos at play. But for something like this, we might want to go square cut. You know, we want to be able to fit as many on there as possible, have them all look very nice and clean, and at the end of it, if we need to, we just remove them because of damage or because of any weather damage and stuff like that. Now to me, I think this is a very difficult task. And something like this you might think might be as simple as sending all the logos out to be printed and then be applied, which might take an hour or two. I've been working at this for weeks to make sure that I have all the proper logos, to make sure that I get all the sizes. I've been with this aircraft now for about an hour and a half trying to spec out all this white space that I have to be able to fit as many decals on there. After this, I'm going to be heading out to Alpha Graphics in Daytona Beach where I'm going to sit down with their designer and say, I have this many logos, they have to be this, this, this size, can we get them on the aircraft? After working with him, that'll take about two and a half to three hours at most to try to get all the decals looking the right size. From there, they go to print. Print can take anywhere between an hour and a half to a full day to even two days depending on how many logos we have to do. And if we decide to countercut them, Cutting the vinyl itself takes more time, and then we have to sit there and weed all the extra white vinyl out of the decal, which takes even more time on top of that. This task, though it might not seem too difficult, can actually take weeks to do properly and have it done right, which is what our goal is here at DreamSoar. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this informational video.